presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. <laughs> uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because yeah. if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. My pleasure to be here on this uh, Friday, the 7th of July. This is uh, really the first, not the first full week, but a decent week in the, in the uh, market. We've got uh, really interesting things going on. And we'll look at the Dow right now. You see this left side chart. That's the daily in the middle. Here's the weekly. On the right is the monthly chart of the Dow. And you can see that there's, a, let me just show you this briefly here. I look at three core patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation. A mix of the two, yes, red, because if it's a one and three where it comes straight down, and then there's a, a failure where you go to just one or two peaks, peak A or peak B, I alphabetize them, take out that left side low. You've got to be real careful. Well, wait a minute, this is exactly what we've got. Oh, and, and in Chapman Wave, we're always looking for um, four higher peaks. We try to identify the lowest bar, alphabetize them, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to a G, but it's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. So that's the core that we're looking for in terms of notational uh, aspects. So what we've done is we've gone to that peak D in the Dow, 34,588 on the 16th of June. We've come back, made that cup formation. There's always two patterns vying for one another, the cup or the arch. So we stalled underneath that previous high. And that said to me, be a little careful because it could be a rollover at that peak B. And if it takes out the left side low in the next couple of days, 30,610 was the low that we made uh, back around about the 24th or so. And now what we're looking at is, you see this green, this is the daily choice, see that little green nine period moving average, and you see the black 14 period moving average. See how it turned green, see how it was pink there, then it turned green with an L, and then it turns, uh, when it turns down, it makes an S, there's an S right there around about the 8th of uh, May. <clears throat> Well, look at this. We are so close to turning down, and that will say there's a good chance that we will close under 33,610 if that happens. And that says that the next the next level of action will be 33,300 where the 200 period moving average is. That's the negative side. The positive side said we've kind of used up all our time. The best that we can anticipate right now is the lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. So let me just go through this again so you know what I'm talking about when I said lowercase h. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, where, did that, where, did the, where did my chart go? It was right there it is. So in other words, the path that we were talking about, the one that I said, uh, can, there are, if it takes out the left side low, right there, oh, I lost a whole bunch of stuff. Let me get you back here. There it is. And it says that if you take out that left side low, I just need to get this back, um, you can go from an H to an M pattern. All right. So that's just quickly, I wanted to go through that. The weekly chart has made a peak D. This is the third week that it hasn't broken above it. It hasn't broken down. It's holding beautifully at the 14 period moving average. The MACD is good. Stochastic is at 80%. That's good. But look at the daily chart. The MACD turned down. The stochastic turned down. On balance volume is actually almost oversold. It could rally at any point. It should have had a much better day today. It hasn't. So I'm I'm kind of cautious on the, on the near term. The daily charts, not so much the weekly charts, but the near term. So this is the daily, this is the weekly. Yes, the monthly. The monthly is still holding very well. Look at the S&P monthly. Oh, why does I keep doing that? SPX.X. Let's just go there. 
Nope, I hit the wrong chart. Here we go. One more time. There it is. Okay. S&P, SPX.X, there it is. Uh, holding beautifully. Look at that nine period moving average holding well, even with a dip yesterday. So it's going to take a move. Really, it would take it to almost the low that was made on the 26th at 43.28 to see that nine period moving average even getting close to turning down. And that'll be very negative. So in the meantime, I'm going to put this in here to show you that you've got a cup formation with a little bit of a double top and uh, it filled the gap today. But basically, I think we're in this rectangle formation for the moment. The weekly chart is still very strong. And the monthly chart has gone to a very strong leg C. The MACD has turned up. The nine period moving average is good. The stochastics at 71%. I'd prefer 80%, but that gives it time. On balance volume is a tad. The blue line here is a tad overbought. But so far, this is very good action in the monthly chart. Look at the QQQ. We'll just do this quickly. And this is what I do for my subscribers on, a, on the weekend. I have about an hour of an overview. I call it my overview a video. And I go through all these different aspects, plus all the positions that we have and what we are looking for and what I'm expecting over the next uh, week or two. Now, what we're looking at is this is double top. Now, look at this. This is the QQQ. If I do a vertical test, you know, you know, I'm, I was looking at the den today. Uh, there's just there's so many wonderful traders and and so much good information. Earlier on, very early when the market was very weak, I, Tom O'Brien just popped in for a second to say, uh, 44.63 was his upside target. The market was down like 44.20 or something like that, and it just looked impossible. Lo and behold. We went all the way to the 4470s. I mean, the, the information there is fantastic. So the other thing is, this is the final day, final weekend, but certainly the final day of the uh, Tiger. These are, the you know, Tiger dollars. That's a fantastic. But if you're looking for a bargain in the market, this is absolutely the bargain up to a 40% discount on what you're buying. You have these uh, dollars. You have the... Uh, let me just put this here to show you what I'm looking at. So you have these certificates, basically, that say you can do whatever you want with your Tiger dollars. You can get any service. My service is the opening call. Any service you want, you get a nice discount. If you're already a subscriber to one of your, one of the, one of our hosts um, and you're really enjoying it, this is a fantastic time to add to it uh, for, with a really great discount. But look at this. This is the QQQ daily chart. Look, 372.85. And look at the techni technique, uh, all these indicators that were so positive. And then that on balance volume, I mean, if ever there was something that can give you almost to the day sometimes, the reversal, look at that on balance volume turned down sharply right there, and it turns down. But look at the strength. Never, I never fight, want to fight the nine period moving average over the 14 because that is internal strength. And look what happened. It went red. Um, on the day of uh, the 26th of June, the QQQ, Invesco QQ trustees, and then it bounced right back. And it's and the IWM, which is the Russell Crowd, has a very strong day today, uh, stuck in the rain. I'll be back in a moment. The Dow's down 17, the SB's down 12. And as we go to the break, I'm going to show you that peak D has come back. There's the X that I know. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So I had said that we would look at this 10-minute uh, chart. The target that I had was, I'll show you here exactly, ESU23. This is a very near-term target. I put an X in right there, and that X was at exactly uh, 320. And the target was this candle low of 44.57. And we're at 44.55 right now. There's still a leg seat to the downside. So I need to just go through a couple of things here because I've shown you the core of the Chapman Wave methodology. So the IWM is stuck. Oh, I'm going to do this. It looks a little messy, but at least it outlines very clearly what I'm looking for right here. That's the rectangle formation. At any point, if the uh, IWM takes out one 80, 179, if it starts to close under 179, it's in for a deeper consolidation. So I want you to just go to gold and show you something very interesting. Gold is up 15, still 16, pretty good, 1931. But the pattern says that if this nine period moving after, after that peak D in the daily chart around about the beginning of May up in the 2100 area, Look what happened. As soon as it, the pink nine period moving average went under, uh, changed from green to pink under the 14 period moving average back on the uh, 16th of May, and that price was at about 2040. We have not turned green once, and therefore I can't say to you that this is a great start to a move to the upside until I get that confirmation. Uh, so that's the daily. But look, the weekly turned negative. With the S meaning sell on that particular index, not the. This is completely separate to what you do. This is just saying this particular 914 moving average it went negative, and the MACD is weak, the stochastics weak. So I don't see gold yet starting to move very sharply. That's number one. Number two is the monthly chart is really stuck in a big rectangle. So I don't have to talk about that at this point. Other than to say, uh, I would put 19, the 19. Now, I'm going to make it 1895. If 1895 on gold gets taken out, 
I think you're in for a longer dip before you can really have a very strong move. I don't mean a strong move that gets us back to where we were two weeks ago. I mean a strong move that says two, for two out of three weeks, we're making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, we haven't got that yet. We're doing the exact opposite, lower highs and lower lows. That's that's the definition of a trend. That's number one. Number two is um, within the context of gold and silver. So I, the way I've been discussing it with my subscribers is that gold is really, it's it's kind of a fear factor. A big part of it for me is to look at it as a fear factor. When the financials, the XLF, really takes a hit. Very often, money goes into gold because it says, oh, you know, if the financials, internationally, big money goes into gold because it says if, if the fi if financials are that bad, American uh, economies, yeah, this is not good. So it's a safety factor. But silver, I've been looking at it in a little different way. We haven't done anything yet, but over the next six months or three to four months, I'm looking at it differently because I think silver has more of a, a physical factor in the sense that it's used for batteries. It's used physically. Like it used to be used for, for photography. Uh, there was a component of silver in it. Gold is different altogether. So they really think of them a little bit separately. But that doesn't, that's completely separate to chart formations. I'm just talking about thinking about them. Um, I got a caller, I believe, unless it's a ping for, for dinner. Oh, it's Michael in Tucson. Ah, Michael, how are you? Hi there, Basil. This is my annual phone call to you. How and, are you? Uh, I'm okay, yeah. Um, I was just wondering, could you look at a hot stock named Ferrari? Ticker symbol yeah, so R A C E. I, I want, did this, want you to look at I, it on the daily versus the weekly versus the monthly. All right. So, folks, we're looking at Ferrari NV. It's automobiles. Of course, Ferrari, everyone knows what a Ferrari is. Um, and Ferrari, I did this the other day, and I said to myself, I think I need some kind of a phantom peak here because it, just like Apple, it made a peak C with a doji high in the Chapman Way methodology on the 30th of June. Fabulous technical aspects. The MACD is strong. It, right now, it's just turned down for the first time. It's almost going to cross negative, but it has been strong. Stochastic was over 80%. Now it's 70. We're just in three, four days. It's come down to 71%. Yeah. On balance volume turned down. Uh, the the aspect that I'm looking at here is these two candles. Now, when you're looking at foreign stocks, they always have gaps. So I don't even I ignore gaps when it comes to gold stocks, anything that trades overseas oh, it's before. Oh, ADR. We do. Okay, so so Ferrari is an ADR it trades on the Milan Stock Exchange. Well, we've got it on our. It's traded here because I don't get any of the foreign stocks. So it is traded here. Uh, R A C E, as you said, is the symbol. And then I've got an H B next, and I can't remember what this H B stands for. But anyway, so this is what I'm looking at. Do you have a position, or is this a kind of uh, looking at it for a different reason? Uh, I'm just looking. At, um, I, you know, there's lots of these YouTube uh, stock stock market experts, and they keep repeating the same stock and I have deep suspicion they're being they're being paid by some operator to promote these stocks and yeah, so I'm just watching yep. them you know and I'm okay. calling an expert like a Basil Chapman from TFNN to, to give so me a second me do, opinion okay so let me just do this let's forget about everything else I'm only looking at the stock I have an expression I've added for years and years here at TFN, and I say walking the nine-period exponential moving average. Sometimes you use the 14 as a springboard, but if you walk in that nine-period moving average, that is an extremely strong move. Well, look at the right. weekly chart. From the moment it crossed positive in the weekly chart back in November, the week of the 11th of 2022, it went from 200, uh, 200 to 218 is that particular week. It hasn't looked back, and that nine-period moving average is way above the 14. So it gives you 304 as support and 296 as the next support. All I can say is, and that's the reason when I was looking at this a few days ago, I said to myself, this is so – look, let me just show you something. They, they got no – there's nothing in – uh, c connection to the one another. I'm looking at Apple just to show that also made a peak C, and there's no other way I can count it. With a, a race, which is Ferrari, there is another way to count it. I've, I've, but it's 
it's not what I, I like to be very strict with my methodology, A, B, C, that could be D, that could be an E. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there is another way to count this as, as, as if it's, and I'm going to put it in here because this is a, a legitimate way to count it as if it's an F slash C. And now I can say okay. the way I'm looking at it right now in the short term, and I, the reason why I looked at it, I said, how are the, the stocks that are um, the, the, the normal aspirated stocks doing as opposed to the electric one so i and i'll do this for you right now look yes tesla tesla made a big gap up and it's holding very nicely but i'm calling that a peak f with a chance that it's making some form of a double top but it's holding very nicely i'm looking at um uh uh what is it R R rivian r-i-v-n rivian yeah, rivian's got rivian's been in, in the news it's been a, rivian is like trending on youtube uh that's another pumped up stock i'd like to oh, okay about. so hold on a second i think it's worth having a look at these because it's going to tell us about some of the parts of the economy if you can hold on we'll be right back with michael in arizona look the gold report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back we're with Michael in Arizona, and we're looking at race, which is uh, race is the uh, for a symbol for Ferrari. So I just wanted to Can show a couple a of things. Chart? Okay, I'm gonna, I'll go to the monthly chart right now. I wanted to actually show you a comparison with someone like General Motors or Ford, but we'll do that right now. The monthly chart, I, I've got it as 
a G slash B in the in the Chapman Wave methodology. I don't like to have these. A G says, "Oh my God, you better be really careful." A B says, "Are you kidding? Every single drop needs to be bought." The way I'm looking at it, I'm not worrying about that right now because I'm looking at the other, the week, the daily and the weekly. Because obviously, the monthly is not going to turn until the daily turns, and the weekly won't turn until the daily turns. But I like everything I'm seeing yeah, in the well, monthly. And I think I can still call it a leg B at this particular point because the MACD is good. Stochastics at 93%. I love that. So um, you wanted to say what? I think on the monthly chart for Ferrari, you yep. have the formation of a cup, and now yep. it needs a handle. The question now becomes the $64,000 question is what is the length of the handle on the downside for this stock so I can get into it? Okay, so let me just tell you something. I have a technique called the Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle Pattern. It's a way more powerful than the cup and handle. The cup and handle means that on the left side, look, the market stall or the price you're following, whatever it is, stalls, makes a little bit of a kind of a little cup, like a, like a handle, not a big handle, like a coffee cup handle, but just a little handle, like an English teacup handle. And then what happens is the price moves up. And Investors Business Daily has for decades and decades and decades made a big deal about that pattern, but you have to deal with it in a very special way. Now, if you look at the the, the Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle says you get to the left side, you pull back, and then you make a peak A, and then a B, and if it breaks out and goes above that left side high in the C, you should go to at least a D. When it does that in a leg B like this is done, it says that you can now consider that a worst case basis is that the breakout of the left side lip, which is at 278.78 uh, back in November of 2021, is major yeah. support. So that's the way I would look at this. But on a shorter term basis, the way the weekly chart has gone up with higher highs and higher lows in this very steady, just like it's walking, mm -hmm. like a little like a little worm wa walking up the limo or a branch yeah, of a well, tree. That's a great description, Beth. But do you see a cup and handle formation on the monthly? I see it breaking out already on the monthly. Oh, let me, are you talking about just from the high that was made in November of 2020? The chart. Look at you on the right, the right side chart. Yeah, Ferrari. Uh, well, I see a I, formation, but I don't see the handle. There's no okay. handle. This is this is a ladle. You know how you got uh, you know in, in the uh, uh, a ladle has a cup formation, and then it doesn't stop on the left side lip. It goes straight up because it's got the handle. This is the pattern that I discovered years and years ago, and as far as I'm concerned, this is a cup and ladle, and it says at some point you should pull back. And you should yeah. still go to a leg C and then a leg D. So this is looking really good on a monthly basis. So what's your leg C? We, it should go to at least a C. And so, so far, the high that was made last month of 327.07. This month, yeah. we haven't gone. We've gone to 326.02. So it's just so it you think we can go point. down to 260 on the pullback? Uh, the way I'm looking at it right now, I think the... Uh, a worst case basis, if I'm correct in my analysis of the weekly chart, first of all, if it breaks 296, to get that nine period moving average to cross negative, it would have to go way under 280. I think that whole area of two, 290 to 280 is really strong support. That's the way mm. I'm looking at it. Okay. So there's a two year backlog on, on Ferrari. You know, those backlogs, I've seen this before. When, thing, when the economy suddenly changes for the worst, <laughs> those backlogs stay backlogs. Nobody actually put, pays up for the, for, the, for the car. But Ferrari, don't forget, is also an in investment. There are a lot of people, and I mean a lot. I was shocked when I saw numbers. A lot of people who buy Ferraris, they hardly ever drive it. They keep it as an investment. As an so investment, you, really? In yeah, garage, so you, collecting dust. Yeah, they oh, just in the garage, take it out on every 20th Sunday or whatever it is. Yeah, they keep it as an investment. So in the meantime, yeah, back the at the ranch. insurance premiums are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty high on these cars, you know. If you're paying, they're, if not you pay, Nissan, they're, not, they're not a Nissan Sentra. If you're paying two or 300000 for it, you don't have to yeah. worry about that. Okay, and most of the time they're paying cash. But let me just do this since you brought it up. Uh, so we're looking at that. We were looking at Rivian which is now a completely different thing because this is electric, all electric. 
Um, the breakout that we've just seen, yes, I, I realize it's news related, but the price is the price and it's jumped over the 200 period moving average. What I wanted to point mm -hmm. out is they're going to rotate. You see, Tesla is now the old the old guard. So Tesla is yeah. going to have much, much, much to get the kind of percentage moves that these uh, the, the EVs that like Arivian, they, they are the ones that are going to play catch up. So percentage wise, when they move, they move very quickly and big percentage moves. So Tesla is the, the granddaddy of, of EVs. And mm -hmm. they are they doing a whole bunch of other things as well to get yeah. monthly income with the with the charging so is et cetera. Rivian a short squeeze. Uh, Rivian, I think, is partly a short squeeze, but I think there is something there. I've seen some on the road, not many, but I think that I think it's, it's a legitimate company as opposed to some of those that have gone wrong. Is there some operator uh, promoting this stock on YouTube? Yeah. Um, it's it's a yes and yes and yes, but that's got nothing to do because people are buying it. I'm just looking at the price. I don't care how, why, or where. The fact is, it's gone from 14 just a week ago to 24 to 2563 today. So it's in play, but I would be it's very careful if you're treating this as a long-term buy and hold. This is not the price to be buying it at. Rather wait for pullbacks. Okay. But I just wanted to go through those. And if you look at General Motors. <clears throat> They've said that by 20, by 2035 or something, they'll be only electric. This is a leg D in the daily, a very nice chart pattern, mm -hmm. a leg B in the weekly, but the monthly looks yeah. very, very awful. So you've got to okay. look at each one separately. Last, that helps question. You. Yes. Last question to ask you, Basil. How come on your show you never bring on a guest to interview? You know, I used to do that. I used to have Harry Schiller. I used to have a whole bunch of people. And then I, I found that um, the, the way I do the show, the questions that I have is so, so detailed and so specific to the actual day's action and to what we're looking at internally and weekly and monthly that mm -hmm. I just enjoyed it too much to be able to take that time. I, there are so many people I would love to interview, but I've, I've just found that there are so many questions that come up that I really, you know, Larry does a fantastic job with these interviews. Uh, you know, Tom does interviews. So I thought I'll just stick to what I'm doing, and and it's just a lot of fun for me. This is, I I get a great kick out of it. So I hope that answers okay. your question. And thank you for calling. All right, that's that's my annual interview with you. Take I care, love Basil. It. See you next thank year. You very much. I don't know where have I'll a, be. I'll maybe in year. Baghdad, maybe in Taiwan. <laughs> I may be in Kazakhstan, but I'll call you again in a year's time. Okay. Have a good year. Speak to you then. Fine. Bye. Okay, folks, let's just do, as we're going to the break, Dow's down 68, S&P's up 5. And someone in the den earlier this morning said, what if we close unchanged and the market was and rallied really sharply? Good, prescient call. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting for the one and only Tom O'Brien. And I have a, my, the uh, opening call, my daily newsletter. Check out the, the special that's going on, front page of TFNA. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Hi, uh, yes, Eddie says in the den. True story, two, three guys buy a top-notch Ferrari, put it in the garage for 10 to 15 years, goes up 10 times. Uh, the collector ones. Yeah, it has to be a certain type of Ferrari. Yes. Anyway, enough of the Ferraris. I drew this in to show you the left side, right side price tie match that I, I usually do uh, for all my, the charts that I notate. And we did that perfectly right here, the left side, right side price tie match. I put in the X, where did that X go? Uh, there was an X right there, and we hit it. Uh, and now I've got another X. I'm not sure about this one. This goes to 5 o'clock because you know that futures go on for a little longer. All right. So this is – and that, that takes you to the low that was made this morning at 1040 before you broke out to the upside. Uh, and that's between 4.44 and 44.36. All right. Uh, it doesn't have to do that, but this is what I like to do to be able to gauge time and price. So look at General Motors as a really good move, but I want to move on now. I want to show you some of the things that I'm looking at before we run out of time. Um, and one of the reasons why for subscribers to the opening call, my, my newsletter, is that we have been along the Dow from the exact low on, in October, both, both the diamonds and um, actually, we're still long from even earlier on, but we've got the diamonds long and um, the UDOW, which is three times long. And one of the reasons is if you, are, if you feel strongly enough about a position, I don't see why you take a, a, something like a three times long, get a smaller position rather than 100 shares of the diamonds. You get something like a, a split position in the three times long because you put in less money, but you have a much better gain. If you're correct, if you're going to be correct, I mean, you may as well be correct and, and see the benefit of that. So we took all the profits and the very short-term trading position, we still have our core positions, on this big rally up and failure. Because I said the pattern I'm looking at is the dreaded H. I think we're going to form some kind of a dreaded H. We will try to test the high and probably fail. And we still don't know if this is going to work, but this is the pattern. You remember one I, I showed you? The, the lowercase H pattern, that red one. So if the Dow takes out this left side low, which I think it's going to do next week, then there's a problem. Then I have the 200 period moving average, which was all the support over here before it ran up. And that's between 33,300 and 33,250 would be a target. That's number one. Number two is um, the weekly charts. I don't have to talk about it in the moment because you have to be in the zone. And one of the reasons why I decided not to short the Dow is because the S&P as well, which is sometimes we go short the S&P, is it was holding well. That nine-period moving average was very good. So what I decided for subscribers is that we would go short the SMHs with the three times short, the SOXS. It was fabulous yesterday because we took profits, uh, really good profits. We got out within pennies of, of the high yesterday, and I anticipated there would be some kind of a pullback today. So it's still that nine-period in the SMHs is still very strong. Wrong. But both 
The 9 now and the 14 are starting to point downwards. The MACD is weak in the daily. The stochastic at 45%. And my rule of thumb for years now has been where the semiconductors go, the general market tends to follow. Or sometimes the market will lead and the semiconductor occasion we saw during 2022 that the SMHs were lagging. That was a hint to say we weren't quite done on the on the downside. And eventually in October, we got that fantastic turnaround. Now, what's really important about this is that if you're looking at stocks like an NVIDIA, which is holding so well at almost at an all-time high at 426, but it's starting to slow down. And if you look at not the 9 over the 14, but the MACD, the stochastic, and the on-balance volume, they are suggesting that there's some internal weakness but there's residual strength. And until that residual strength at this peak A, peak, it actually look, looks like a leg B, until that fails and you start to see NVIDIA below 401, round number low that was made on the 26th of June, when if it can close it uh, below 398 any day in the next week and a half, that's where the semiconductors will probably start to decline further. So actually at this particular moment, something as strong as an NVIDIA, tells you that there's some internal strength. So I got a, got a call here. We've got, um, yes. So within that context, uh, what I wanted to say is there are so many things going on in this market. It, uh, besides being a bifurcated market, it's really tri or quadruple because there are different sectors, even within a sector that's doing well, You've got some of the stocks doing poorly. So I'm being very cautious. We've raised cash. We're looking for entries into positions we've already got that have had fabulous gains. We want to add back into that to add to the to positions. And we're looking for things that are coming down very sharply. Let me just do this because I don't want to run out of time before we say because it is so important. You know, here at TFNN, we're always trying to give you the very best that we can. Information, uh, stock positions, analysis. We've got, you know, just a, a wonderful uh, a roster of hosts. There's just no question about it. So within that context, I really urge you to go to the front page of TFNN. Check out the special that's going on because this special happens just occasionally every year. Uh, once or twice a year, we get this. This is a very special one, of course. Um, this is the Tiger dollar sale that says you can get up to 40% discount. You're looking at the market, a 40% discount. I, I mean, really, you, you you got something that's worth 10, you're paying six. <laughs> that is really a deal. So check it out. It's really important. And within that context, I just wanted to say that you can hold those dollars. You don't have to use them right away. But anytime you have someone on and you say, you know, I really like this person's work. I think it doesn't matter. With, you know, Tom, Tommy, uh, Steve, uh, Larry. But, you know, these these are all these are opportunities that you know you you can say I've got the service. I like it. This is a good opportunity to add to it. Or well, I haven't. I you got a twenty nine or thirty day. Trial. If you, for instance, on my service, you've got about nine, ten, eleven webinars that I've done that are like talking about the nine period moving average over the fourteen, talking about the bar symmetry, the left side to the right side, talking about staying in a position much longer than you anticipated because of a particular tool that just keeps you there even though everything else looks terrible. So all I'm saying to you is check it out. I really think it's worth it. Now let's get back to the market and what I'm looking for. I've been talking about this for about two weeks now, saying I think that this beginning of July is going to see a consolidation phase. And that the consolidation phase is going to start because the nine period moving average has been so strong. It's not going to be just a big sell off. In three days, you get your, your major market downturn. You're almost ready to do buy. I think it's going to be a process. And this process, let me just go to this right now and show you. Look at the QQQ. Holding extremely well. This is the Russell 2000. And yet it's given back all the gains. And that's what I'm thinking, that this period here, I'll talk about this just very briefly. I'll do more in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. But let me show you something. For Since November of 2020, since November of I N D U, twenty uh, twenty-two. I talk about the dark news cloud cover. That over this, there's an overhang of bad news. Sometimes the market just ignores it, but whenever we get like the Dow, whenever it gets into the thirty-three thousand six hundred to thirty-four thousand eight hundred area. 
there's a lot of resistance, a lot of resistance, and we're right there. It's an internal high that we've seen, and we've just seen the residual high. And that says, you've got to be a little careful here. Just be careful. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. You'll have that final segment. We'll do a wrap-up, and we'll see whether the de- the E-mini went to our target price. Let's see. Yep, it hit the target price in a shorter time span. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Right, a couple of, a couple of things that we want to look at here, the VIX index. For instance, looking at a VIX index where I type it in the wrong place, I'll type it in right here. VIX right now is um, is down. Isn't that interesting? VIX dot X. So the VIX has almost been, I wouldn't say normalized, uh, but it definitely after this whole COVID um, two-year period, the VIX has kind of come back to a level it was at way back in the 2021 period, 20, 2019, 20, 20, it used to keep coming back to the 13s. It would go lower than that. If you look at this monthly chart of the VIX index, look at this, it can go all the way back to the eights. Um, and then it has the big spirals to the upside. For a long time, we haven't had a big spiral to the upside. The way the chart is looking at this particular point at 14.47 on the monthly chart, it's hugging 
this horizontal line in the 14s. But if you look at the daily chart, it's just started to show signs of awakening. And therefore, I'll just give you parameters I'd look for next week. If the volatil volatility index, the VIX index, trending at 1476 right now, actually can hold at the close on any weak, very weak session, hold in the 1680 to 1730 area, hold there, can't just hit it and, and pull back, hold there. And then the following say it has to be almost like the following session has to go to a higher high into the 18s. That's where we start to get a more significant sell off in the daily charts that really starts to impact the weekly. Until then, all of this is just chopping and taking a digestive phase after a really terrific uh, June. And that's the way I'm looking at it at this particular point, looking for ideal places to get into stocks that we missed on the way up. Just nice building up a portfolio for the next part of uh, the market rally that I see coming up uh, sometime uh, this summer. And just be a little careful right now. Not saying, but there are pretty positions that you can get into in this cell of have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And uh, don't forget, Tiger Dollars, go to the front page of TF and check it out. You'll save a lot of money. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien.